Which is which is what benefits players like Harvey Barnes, for example, and why he's been yeah. so good. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, yeah. He, he's got that. He's got that touch. I've been really impressed with Harvey Barnes, actually. I, and and obviously, you know, I'm a I'm a brummy, but everyone else is is scouts, obviously, and everyone watching this will be scouts. But <laughs> I I got to see Harvey Barnes at West Brom because obviously a lot of my friends are West Brom fans, and and I saw some of the games with them. You know, I watched the games in the houses, etc. And he was a very very good player then, and that was what three years ago now. So it's got to be about three years ago, yeah. You know, so I sort of I saw him coming into that Leicester side, and I saw the the benefits he has. You know, getting in on his and his right and left foot because he can strike with both. He's yeah. quick feet. He's got strength. He reminds me a little bit of a winger version of Ross Barkley that Everton had a few years well, ago. But well, like... he, yeah, he, he, yeah, he's one of our own. He's been with the, he's been with the club um, through the academy for years since I think it was about 2007. I think it was. Uh, so he's been with the club a very long time. He's gone out on loan uh, a, a few times. I thought maybe he was going to get brought back a bit too quick when he did get brought back because I think he got brought back during the Claude Puel era. We won't yeah, talk yeah. about we won't talk about him anymore. That's that's him gone and done. That's the only time I'll mention his name again. Uh, what what awful football it was when he was here. Um, the only thing he did do was get get the club through and the and the players through yeah. when the when the Vichar tragedy happened. Uh, other than that, anyway, yeah. Um, Harvey Barnes, wow, what a talent! Uh, and James Justin as well, who's come through the Luton Carfu, we call him the Luton mm. Carfu. Um, yeah, wow, two exciting players. Yeah. A friend of mine is is a Luton fan as well, and he he said to me, "This lad is is fantastic." I think he I think he got shitload of assists in the last season at Luton that they got promoted into the championship for. You guys took a, a decent punt on him. I think it was ten million pounds. And it to be fair, it's paid off. I mean he, he looks a he looks a hell of a player, but you've yeah. equally got some you've give, equally got some fantastic wing wing backs anyway. I mean Pereira sitting on on, I, on I, your bench. I know. I know that's a tr- that's a troubling discussion that we've got at Leicester. Is uh, how the hell does Brendan Rodgers pick between uh, Ricardo Pereira, James Justin, and Timothy Castagna, the Belgium international, mm. uh, of mm. who plays in? Because they can all play. Well, I think Ricardo don't really play left. So other than Ricardo, where do you put where do you put the two? It's oh, it hurts your head. It's good. I, problems, I, 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 I didn't think I was going to have this conversation. To be fair, a year ago, because Ricardo Pereira looked like the best right back in the world at one point. I was like, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. he got an injury, and he's he's been out of football for what, nine months. He's, he, I think he tore his cruciate. So, yeah. um, he's only just come back. So I'm hoping he comes back as the same player he was, because some players don't. Hmm. So, what's your score prediction for the game? Oh God, uh, this Premier League's bonkers. Um, I think we've got a better away performance, and like he says, your home performance isn't great. Um, it's the same with us. Uh, if it was the other way around again, if, if we were talking about the King Power, I would be probably settling for a draw at best. But uh, because it's away, I think we'll go with no fear and try and take those three points. Um, I can see us nicking it, maybe two one. I agree with what you've just said, and think it'll be one one. <laughs> mm. Um. It's 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 the home performances against yeah. against sides that have worried me forever. I don't know what um, it is. You know, we beat... we're, in the, we're in the same boat. It's home fans. There's no home fans to to roar them on, and and the away away teams go to with no fear, don't they? So I think that's what it, how it works. Yeah, I mean, we we don't get me wrong. It's not like we we beat poor teams at home. I mean, we beat Chelsea at home, for example. I know you guys have had some yeah. good home results as well, but. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think. I think at this moment, in general, in it, it's it's generalised. In general, it's. I, I'd rather play Chelsea than Leicester at the minute, to be honest, because there's it, no well, doubt. Most that, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. Apart from you know, Fat, fat Sam's gone. Uh, fat Frank's <laughs> gone. Um, <laughs> a, another question, just a little bit off topic, actually. I was just talking about about Leicester and how you've developed, and obviously yes. Vichai and and everyone surrounded with Leicester football team and Leicester City, Leicester as a whole, as a he city, put yeah. so much yeah, he put so much in and it's good to see that his son and his family is still taking the reins and I yeah. was going to mention your training complex because it's a hell of a facility I mean, 
It's absolutely. It's gonna. It, it, I mean, it's practically finished, isn't it? It's. It's. It, it is. I'm sure it's it opens soon. Yeah. yeah. No, it's already, um, they're already, they already moved in just before. I think it was they moved in on Christmas Eve. I think they moved in. Yeah, that's um, it. So they're there. And you know what, Lester didn't. You know what they did with the old one? They didn't just sell it and get the money back for it. They gave it to the women's team. They made the women's yeah, team yeah. professional. The professional women's team and gave the training ground to the women's team. So yeah. pff, it's mad, isn't it? They're keeping the investment in the club, but that's eighty-five million pounds for Harry Maguire. That money's gone to that instead of buying Havertz or Werner that don't work out. And then you, yeah. you like worried about where all this cash is going to go and how you're going to get your money back. They've invested it into the club for the future generations. It's not about right now. It's about then. And that's what the club's yeah. about. They've been like that since they came in. They saved this club from almost disarray. We was nearly non-existent. We really was. It was a point where, you know, we, we went through administration problems at one point. Yeah. Uh, and some ex-players like Gary Lineker and Emil Heskey, I think, helped fund some money and all sorts. But then we was owned by, um, oh, God, what was his name? I always forget his bloody name when I'm doing these shows. I don't know why. It never never sticks in. It's his bloody name. Probably never mind. It, it, it's gone. Um, but uh, he sold it to the King Power brand. And um, and here we are. Hmm. They've turned the club around. Where do you think Leicester will finish this season? <sighs> I think what, it's... what's a successful season, you know? I don't know. I don't know what a successful season is now of Les. I don't know. It's it's so difficult. I don't understand. If you'd have said last season before we got the Europa football, if you said top six, break that top six, I'd be like, yeah, that let's that's that's a great target to do. But we was in the top four for from September all the way. And we started losing players. We didn't bottle it. I'm sick to death of social media and casual idiots saying bottle jobs. We didn't bottle it. We lost bloody Ricardo Pereira and replaced him with Ryan fucking Bennett. How can you put <laughs> You, you, you know what I'm saying? You know, an emergency loan. At NDD, we lost. You know, Madison was struggling with injury for a long time. Dennis Pratt had a knee problems. The list goes on. Soon you got carded, red carded near the end of the season, which is very important. And it happened. We'd lost so many key players. Ben Chilwell as well at the time. Another one. But we lost through injury. We had fuck all. We had nothing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, so it was weird that where we are now, we're in that top four bracket with those players at the start of the season. Some of those players weren't still weren't in the squad. Ricardo Pereira, Ndidi. At one point, I think uh, we we had to use Ndidi as a centre back because yeah. was Siuncu was out and Evans was out and there was so much going on, <laughs> and we're still somehow in the top four. 